morning guys it's uh, tired again I haven't been out fishing in a while and I'm really excited today I took the day off needed to get away for a little while so decided to come on down to St. Pete so you'll hear a bunch of cars in the background because the Grand Prix is going on but uh, I want to share something with you my verse of the day um, so if you just stay tuned I'm gonna bring it back to you. Today, um, for me is Matthew 28 19 through 20 and I'm gonna read this in the uh, New Living Translation and it says therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this I am with you always even to the end of the age so the reason why this is my verse today is because we, our church has moved into a new location and the one thing that we're supposed to do is make disciples. And I think it's one thing the church is lacking, uh, universal, well, in the Western uh, culture anyway, because discipleship is a long, it's a long process. It's not just a bring them to church, get them saved, and you know, that's it. No, there's a discipleship. That means there's, disciple means training. Um, and so training takes a while to understand the things of God and the ways of God. And you know, as most people, the first thing they wanna know is what is God's will for me? So to know God's will, the first thing you have to do, you have to surrender your life to him. You have to be uh, a disciple. You have to be a, a believer in Jesus Christ not only in your head, but in your heart. And then the other thing is, um, as we were, you know, Jesus' last words in this um, verse are, this is the last thing he said to his disciples before he ascended to heaven is go and make disciples. It was a command. It was not a request. It wasn't a, if you want to, it's a command that we should go and make disciples. And many of us, including myself, have failed. I've only, you know, made a few disciples. He didn't just say make a few disciples. He said go and make disciples. So I'm going to be a little bit more diligent, um, especially this year in making disciples, spending that time with people, helping to to know God, to understand who God is. And, you know, I want God to be pleased with me, not just to, you know, make it into heaven. I want him to be pleased with what I do, who I am, and who I lead. So I hope that helps. Um, Helicopters flying all over the place, got dolphins swimming around me. So I'm gonna go out here and try to catch a little sheet head, a little snapper this morning. So I'll talk to you soon. All right guys, so what I'm doing today, I'm just fishing with shrimp because everybody is out of fiddler crab right now. And I normally use fiddler crab. So what I have, I have a quarter ounce um, bottom sweeper jig. It's a one aught on 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon tied on 20 pound braid. I'm using my 3000 uh, pin battle two on a six foot six because I'm in a little bit confined space today. So I went down to a six foot six um, ugly stick elite. So all I'm doing, I pinched the tails off of these things for this bottom sweeper jig and I'm just threading them on. and bringing it out like so. So that way the, uh, the shrimp can look a little bit more natural. All right, so we're gonna get one down here and see what happens. So I had to switch it up. Um, it wasn't working with the bottom sweeper jig with shrimp. So, so I went back to the sheep's head jig and I'm just hooking them straight through there so that way it sits like this and I can get a little bit more action and let them float around a little bit. So, let's 
see what we can do here. Run. Okay. A little grunt. All right, guys. So I have switched yet again because I'm still not getting any really good bites. I got one little grunt um, that was small. So what I've done, I've switched to my free lining rig all i have is a number one um split shot a number one not a one out but a one uh, owner hook and all i'm doing is taking hooking under the horn if i can get him under there so if you notice that there's a little hump right there and i just take it and hook it right underneath it there so now he can still swim around. And all I'm doing is just tossing him out, letting him get a little bit close to the pylon, and then I'm I'm letting it go straight down. He's already There we go, go, oh yes. Oh yes. That's the size that I want right there. Come on, hang on baby. Hang on, hang on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yes. Oh yeah. That's the size we want right there. That's the size we want. The ones you don't have to measure. Look at that. That's the size we want. Thank you, Lord. Broke the little, the little. That's what we want, though. He's been caught before. He's been hooked before, at least. a nice one too come on mm, mm, mm. oh yeah come on he's a fatty <sighs> boy 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 that's two Another one for the box. Make sure he's big enough. Oh yeah, he's 13. That's another one. Thirteen. Well, I am having a good time. I have caught a few fish. Um, so I'm just out here just trying to keep this pattern going because I'm in a deeper section right here it goes from 10 to 11 right in here in some places 12 and I keep seeing sheep's head 
swimming back and forth um, through here. So I don't know if this is a, a little channel they're using to, you know, just go back and forth to pylons or whatever. But I caught three right here a little while ago and they're all in about 20 minutes. Oh no, what in the world? I caught me a gag grouper. Look at that, little gag. Nice little gag. No, oh, thank you, buddy. Oh yeah, he's gonna be a keeper. Oh yeah. Get in here. don't have to measure. That's five. Oh yeah, he's getting me all over the place. Come on. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to head for that. Get back over here. Back over here. It's a horrible net job. What did he get in there? Oh boy. That was a rough one. Another pretty decent sized one. One I don't have to measure. colors on that thing. It's getting nice and full in there. Getting nice. Come on. Get away from that pile. Oh, what am I doing? Oh boy, get in here. Yes. Woohoo. Number eight, baby. I don't know what in the world was going on there. <laughs> what was I thinking? I had me all turned around. Mm, mm, mm. Looky there. Number eight. All right, so that's it. All right, guys, I am taking it home from here. So I got my limit today. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, got a bunch of sheep's head in the boat, so. Uh, I just had to figure out how to catch them. I started off with the bottom sweeper jig, it wasn't working. Then I went to the sheep's head jig, it wasn't working. I caught a couple small ones. But when I went to free lining the uh, shrimp, I caught a, a bunch. And then the last couple I caught on free lining with some frozen uh, fiddler crabs. So it's number eight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, just remember, God loves you, God bless you, and may he keep you. So, hit that subscribe button down there, like my videos, and uh, share my, my videos and my channel with other people. So until next time, God bless. You.